How you doing guys? Maz here. Got a tutorial for you on Rust. Um, I've been asked like a few times how I do my Rust effects so I thought I would just do a little tutorial before I start work on some Orc stuff so here you go. These are the bits that I use and you'll need if you want to copy what I'm doing. Some different gauges of foam for stippling and that later on. Uh, some knackered old dry brushes and like a stippling brush and the paints a very dark brown you can use Gaines Workshop Scorch Brown I don't know which the uh, the new one is but I'm using model colour wood wood grain transparent so it's very dark it's a uh, basically airbrush ready because it's a transparent it's very very liquidy dark flesh it's got a bit of red and a brown into it so that will be our base and that will be our secretary colour we're going to put them down with the airbrush and then we'll go in with the stippling and the dry brushing later on with the Raza Rust and the uh, red orange so I'm back in a minute guys get all set up and ready to go and I'm back guys, this is what we're working on the uh, grab battle tank I think it's called um, well, that's what I was going to say yeah, primed it all black because that's like how I start with this uh, technique so primed them all black, uh, I'm going to be working on the turrets now not the the big fella because of uh, time constraints, don't want it to be too long a tutorial so we'll get straight into it you can put it down with a paintbrush, it's just as easy. Um, but I'm going to put this all down with an airbrush first, just to save some time, guys. So, start off with your darkest brown. So I, I normally use uh, Scorch Brown from GW, but mine's run out, so this is my secondary dark black. Uh, Just got to cover the whole model in it. Don't put too many layers down first. It's always better to go over again later. Okay, and just let that dry, and I will be right back once the coats are fully done. I'm back, guys. Uh, put the rest of the coats down now. Um, as you can see, got a nice dark brown, very dark brown covering over all the model. Now we're going to go in with the airbrush and the dark flesh, and just pick out spots and. Just go with the flow of it. It's, it's got to be organic, can't really you know, just map it out. Um, put that down for your secondary rust, I like to think it has, and then put the airbrush away. You can do it with a brush as well if you're doing smaller parts, like on weapons or power claws and things like that. So let's get on with it. I think where the rust might sit or 
start to build up and then just put down some And it's not about covering the other colour, you want the other colour to still sit and be seen. Now so you put it down thicker for a, a different shade. Then go back because it dries really quick and just build up a couple more layers here and there. And if you do put it on too thick and you get some pooling, you'll always lose it later when it comes to the uh, the rust in it, with the riser rust and the, the stippling. Guys, I'll let that all dry out and I'll be back when we do some stippling and and we're back guys so as you can see we've got the dark flesh just coming through like I said just in patches not covering the whole thing And now we're going to go in and start adding the the rust. So I'm just going to do it on the one to show you. So I can carry on with the others afterwards. And got the foam. I'll start tearing pieces off into different shapes. And you can obviously tear it again to make a different shape. You're just looking for different textures and that. So a bit of riser rust on it. Start. You don't want it too much on there. Let's see, test it out in your hand, and then just start going in and picking out parts you want to rust up. And 
obviously you put it down heavier wherever you want to build it up and say under here You can go over a different piece of foam and just start working it around if you put too much on. it's just all about going with it <coughs> going with the flow no I cheat here because I've magnetised these weapons That's the dog going off. You see, I put too much on there. So, go over a different piece of foam and just start working it and take it down. Because obviously, you don't want it bright, luminous, <laughs> orange. And as it, as it dries, it will f fade down a bit more. So, you can just go back in and touch up any areas you want to touch up I'm going to go all around the rim now we've done a lot of the rusting we've just rise the rust there so we're going to get a bit of the red orange just a, a different shade so this is a tad bit red more red to it than uh, the Raza Rust. Same again, put it on your foam, you can work it out on it because you don't want loads on there. And you just want to use it a bit more sparingly because of the, the red in it. And that is about that with the rusting. Obviously, you can go heavier, lighter, it's completely up to you. I'll just finish off these weapons and then we'll do some, we'll add some paint. Oh, tap the camera. <laughs> Give me a zoom in. It's the one.
Okay. Obviously, while I'm doing the weapons, the turret will be drying a bit. We can look into that. Add a little bit more. It's faded out a little bit and drying. And if you've got places you can't get to, a pair of tweezers, you can push it in there. And that's one rusted gun turret, guys. So we're going to carry on with the rest of that. I won't film all of it because I don't want to be too long of a tutorial. Now, if putting paint down on it um, and chipping, I will cover that in another video if you would like. Um, if not, if so, put a comment in the bottom that's just a quick how I do my rust effects okay guys you be safe and thanks for watching bye bye